Hi, I'm Pess. I'm a filmmaker. I make uh, films using objects, bringing them to life in uh, stop motion animation. And I'm um, right here on the set of Submarine Sandwich, which is my latest film. In Submarine Sandwich, I'm building a deli. This is larger than any space that I've ever built for any of my personal films before. I had this vision from the beginning that uh, it should be filled with this kind of like white porcelain, uh, beautiful deliware from the 30s, 40s, and uh, it's a sort of different, different palette, uh, visual palette than the other films. What I really like about stop motion animation, what draws me so much to this medium is that everything in front of the camera is completely real. There's no real digital trickery. Uh, everything is 100% believable because they are objects and it's a photographic medium. The genesis of any film for me is really like a combination of forces. You know, so I had this idea that I had been sitting on for a long time, which was the idea of putting a boxing glove uh, inside of a deli slicer and seeing what comes out the other side. And I think that's a really interesting image uh, and I really want to bring it to life. I'm shooting Submarine Sandwich with a DSLR, the Nikon D810. I prefer to shoot my films on primes. Uh, rather than zooms, so I've got about four or five primes that seem to come up over and over about, uh, you know, go-to lenses, and uh, even found some new application for the uh, 45 millimeter uh, perspective control lens. A lot of the shots on the film take place on the deli slicer, and working with the 45 millimeter uh, perspective control lens, we were able to shift the plane of focus so that now I can get both the meat itself in the carriage and the thing that's coming out, the slices, in, in perfect focus at the same time. We shot at the toppings bar today. Uh, in particular, we're shooting the onion shot. I'm using a slinky, a purple slinky, as the onions. I wanted to experiment with um, some of that sort of uh, stretchy, slinky quality of a slinky and, uh, and see if there's any way in which I could manipulate the object to be a little bit more interesting when my fingers reach into the bin and grab it. Slinky's a bit of an awkward object to be working with. I mean, it's, it's really, it behaves in a predictable yet somewhat unpredictable way. When working with objects like this, it's almost like, you know, I'm a little bit of a lion tamer. Can we get this thing under control? What do we have to do to get this thing under control? You're working with physical objects and you're sort of bound by the, the rules and limits of working with the object itself. So part of the shooting process is a bit of testing to see what, what kind of problems this object is going to present us and, um, and, and working through them until I'm happy with the approach and then we shoot it for real. All my films are kind of like experiments that I want to conduct just to see if it works. Can I make you think that that post-it note uh, pad is butter? Can, can I make you believe that rubber bands are spaghetti or grenades are avocados? Um, here, I, sometimes I find myself just, I'm sitting here just playing with stuff, seeing what interesting things I can tease out of them or what, what can I make it do or how can I bring it to life in, a, in an interesting way that resonates with people and um, it's playing it's really like being a giant kid you can see submarine sandwich on my youtube channel pest film uh, and you can check out some of my other work at my website eatpest.com <laughs>